Hi everyone, Melissa here with The Creative Season. Well, it's spring is starting to show everywhere and I have been discovering these beautiful flowers on the trail. I've got to ask my friend Sherry what flowers these are, but in the interim, we are painting them this week. So a very quick sketch. I know this time of year is so busy, but we sketch and paint this in only about 10 minutes. So this is a perfect project for if you just need a few minutes to relax, rest, grab some color, and create a lovely piece of art for your desk, for your mirror, to send to someone, um, just to be inspired that spring is here. Or if you're in an area where it's not showing up yet, it is on its way. So grab your paints and let's go. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Well, I have a fun, short, sweet project for us here. I have been, as you saw in the intro, I have been um, just loving all the wildflowers that I'm seeing right now. So I thought we would do some of the sweet purple ones that I've been seeing. Now I have a, a page here, watercolor paper. It was from a painting class that I taught and someone had just done some scribbling, some marks on it. And I like to not waste watercolor paper if at all possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just start sketching right over it. I'm going to use some of these marks that were made and I'm going to use them as part of um, the grass. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to just move one of my cameras up here a little bit higher for that. And okay, so kind of coming up here and looking again, if you are going to sketch with me, I am just again going to just sketch in a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and move um, one of these up to create one of my buds that are not quite open. What I was noticing is all the different green that is out right now. It is just amazing if you just kind of stop and look at the different colored leaves, right? There's tons of them. I'm going to go ahead and make my flower, which is going to definitely be the prominent part right over here. And it almost looks like a star in the middle, like a five pointy star. And then off of each one of them, we have these really lovely, really lovely blooms and or petals, I should say. And they're really interesting because some of them almost have like a pointy end and some of them are rounder. One of them kind of goes off to the side a little bit and then just comes on over here. And this one almost is sweeping over. So I'm keeping this pretty casual. And then what I have is I'm gonna have more of that beautiful grass. But then also I was noticing too, we had some like leaves that were just coming around pretty broadly around the flower. So I'm moving that and I'm just gonna create these marks that were made. I'm just gonna incorporate, the, incorporate those into some bigger leaves and even another little bud. So we're gonna have our main show right over here and then some really beautiful leaves. And we're gonna show those leaves too in the um, different depths of color. So now that I have that down, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead by starting out with some of my yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and making sure you can see that nicely. I'm gonna come back up just a little bit so you can have just that broad view. I'm gonna back this up just a tad bit as well. Okay, so I'm gonna take my yellow and I'm gonna dot the mark because what I thought was really interesting about these flowers was their bright yellow center. And that was like the only yellow in the actual flower. Now, I have been noticing all of the yellow green have you been noticing that too? As you walk and see the fresh grass and all the different leaves on the trees, there is lots and lots of yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm putting down the base of yellow now. And I think even with this one, what I might do as well is just water down some yellow and I'm gonna put some yellow, almost like a little backdrop right around here. I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna take some brown. I'm gonna use a few more colors today. I'm gonna use two different greens, a permanent green, as well as a hooker's green. But first, there's, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some of the earth I was seeing. Now we're not gonna show the hill behind this, this these flowers were almost like on a sloping hill. I'm gonna put some brown in the back here, just a little bit. Again, just moving around the outside of the petals. Again, we're not gonna show the hill. It's a pretty quick sketch, but I wanted just to show at least have some dirt for grounding it. We're doing a little bit more of a scene today instead of just a single or a group of flowers. Um, so, okay, so this looks this looks nice. I've now got, got my green and I'm gonna go ahead and start laying down some of that grass and I'm going to go right over some of that yellow because it's not that the grass is actually yellow, but it's that it's a yellow green and I'm gonna let that green and the yellow play together. And I love that about watercolors. I'm gonna grab my hooker's green next. 
and add a little bit of some darker spots. I've just finished a collection, um, a the first part of the collection with acrylic, and I haven't um, showed it yet. I'll be showing it on Instagram a little bit, and I'll probably create a video as well here. But uh, you know, acrylic is just very different, where you can lay colors on top of each other, but they don't dance, right? Um, like like watercolor does. And so it's been fun to kind of go between the two mediums, playing with playing with those. Now you might notice too, if you're not getting it quite as deep as you want, as far as depth of color, we're gonna add some purple to some of the green as well. So I have the hooker screen now because I noticed that the leaves, you know, with this flower were pretty dark. And I'm gonna add in my leaves first before I add in the purple so I know which is a petal and which is a leaf because in one of the preliminary ones I accidentally started painting one of my petals as a leaf, right? Because sometimes the sketch gets a little bit confusing. Okay, so we have that down now. I'm gonna go ahead, just take that permanent green again. I'm just gonna lay some down, just a little bit more down here, just adding in that sense of wildness since this was over on the trail and it is pretty, pretty wild over there. I saw some deer this morning. I was going for a walk, not as early as I wanted to, so actually I was surprised to see them, and they are just, I just love the deer. They always stare at me, and I think one of them is um, a buck, and I saw him because he had lost his antlers, and I saw them with like one antler and the part little antler, if I am recognizing him. He's got like a spot on his face, and um, he always looks a little bit suspicious of me, a lot suspicious of me, actually. So I'm kind of looking at them too. I don't, I can't really tell if a deer, if a doe is pregnant. Like, I don't know how much they show, but I'm wondering too if maybe I've seen this pair of deer a couple of times. I'm wondering if we might have some babies in the near future. We, I will definitely be keeping an eye out for that. Okay, so you'll notice too, as I'm adding the purple, I'm leaving a lot of white space. If you want, if it's too dark, Add in some water and just move that around and move that color around. Um, and I'm just moving it around here. I had gotten a little bit of a leaf over the petal, so I'm just gonna paint around it. That works, right? Because that's pretty much nature. We're always seeing that some of those leaves get in the way of the flower. I may be doing a plain air painting and I'll film that. We'll see if I can film it. At least do a time-lapse version for you just to get out. It's such beautiful weather. If it's any time I'm going to do some plain, plain air, I think it's plain air painting, it's going to be just about now when everything is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm just going to go around here. That yellow, I don't want to touch that yellow though, so keeping everything clean. Going over here to my other buds right in there, and again, making sure you're leaving some white space. That purple and green is so pretty, right? Really, really lovely, and it's vivid. It's just so, so vivid. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and come back in. Let me come in just a little bit closer so you can see that. And really at this point, you can let it dry and then add some more, um, you can add some more marks with your pen, or you can come back in too and add in some more marks with your paint. And I'm going to, even though it's still a bit wet, I'm gonna go ahead and just add in some a little bit more color in here. I'm going to dab in some purple as well so we get some shadowing. I'm going to come over on some of these areas and create some leaves or some sense of stems. Really just the nearer everything is the darker it's going to be, right? So and I'm okay with it being a little bit blurry because really the focal point is right here is that beautiful, beautiful flower. So now that I have that, I see a leaf right here. Add in some more down here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of the purple and the green that I mixed together and get some water so it's not too, too purpley. But it just creates a nice shadow. And what I'm gonna do is right down here, under this flower, I'm gonna add in some of that darker. And you can see right away that darkness. Just a little bit on this leaf, because the le this part would be still catching the, the light. And maybe a couple down here that are covered up by the leaf as well, add in a little bit more color. And I'm probably gonna just let that dry now. That looks really nice. I saw some paint 
stripped out over here and that's okay. Probably once this is dry, I will come back up and just add in a little bit more leaf. And I can even do that now where I'm just gonna take some green and with the fine tip edge, come over here and then just kind of create, create some more grass back here. Okay, doesn't that look nice? And this is just cute, it's spring colors. It's looking at the different depths. I really, really like this. I think it's lovely and it's gonna be a cute sketch as I continue to work on some projects and a new course, just some things that are inspiring me right now. It would be lovely in snail mail as well. So we did this in less than 10 minutes. You could actually do a couple of these, maybe play with the colors or you know switch the flower on the other side. So many different ideas. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm gonna come out with some other um, kind of day in the life and a, a vlog style video soon. So I'm super excited about that. In the meantime, I hope you are enjoying the beauty of spring, the beginning of spring, and go out and enjoy some of that sunshine if it's getting warmer in your area. And um, pull out those paints. It's a beautiful time of year to paint, even if you only have a few minutes. That's why I keep these videos nice and short. We can just paint and create in the margins of our lives. Okay, you guys, I will see you very soon. Have a beautiful Wednesday.